and welcome to this our first tutorial in a series which will introduce you to creating games using stencil. Uh, for this first video we're actually going to look at creating some of the graphics that you're going to need to use in your stencil games. Now in stencil we're going to be working with sprite so the kind of old school graphics that you can see here with this animated picture of, of, of Mega Man and this is very typical of the kind of graphics that you can create don't worry if you're already thinking I'm not an animator or, not, or an artist I can't make something as good as that you don't have to be it's really easy to use and all you need to be able to do is create stuff that's functional so we're actually going to be using a website to do this called Piscal and this isn't the only uh, way of creating sprites uh, you can create them in image editing software there's all kinds of different applications available to do that but this is perfect I think it's web-based it's really easy to use and you can actually sign in with your school Google account so which is what I'm going to do now so I'm going to choose the account that I'm going to use which is my, my school one and I've already got a, a profile because I've used it before and these are some of the graphics that I've already already created and you can see I've made like um, an animated sprite we're actually not going to focus on animated sprites in this video we're just going to show you how to make a simple uh, straightforward non-animated sprite so first thing I do is I click the sprite at the top there and then you end up with the grid um, and this is the grid you're going to be working on you can see on the left hand side you've got all the tools that you're going to need you can like the uh, the pen tool you can change the size of the pen from one to four pixels so this gives you a pixel size of 4x4 four four, and this one gives you a pixel size of 1x1 one one. so you can do some really kind of like uh, rough drawing or some more detailed drawing if you, you so wish you've got a paint bucket tool and that can do a fill like that can fill an entire screen um, and I've just used Control Z there to remove that. So Control Z is undo, just like it is on lots of programs that you may have used. Here are your two, here are your color options, and you can set the color for the brush or the fill or whatever very easily just by using this this slider. So I can change like my my fill color if I want to to this color here. And I don't even know what that is, but it, it just shows you how it works. And then I've got an eraser tool, and again, I can change the size of the eraser really easily um, if I want to. And I can even select areas uh, of my image if I want to. And I've just pressed delete there to delete all of the areas at once, the delete key on my keyboard. So you can see just the basic interface is really, really, really straightforward. Uh, you've also got tools here which will allow you to, to transform, to flip, uh, to rotate your sprite to clone something to all frames not going to look at frames today and then you've got the preferences button here these are all the, the, the icons you use to, to save and we'll look at that shortly and preferences gives you uh, an idea of the, the, the frames the frames per second so if you're making an animated sprite that's going to be uh, relevant the grid so it gives you the size of the grid you can work on a, a, a bigger grid you can see the effect that that's had and you can change that as you wish I, when you produce your sprites in stencil I'm hoping that you'll have designed them first and you'll have designed them on, on, on a grid so it will be easy for you to transfer them across and that's basically the settings now there's a, a couple of things that probably that you need to know when you're working in stencil um, stencil defaults to using 32 by 32 graphics uh, graphic size for sprites and this is the size that Piscal uh, starts out as so it's, it's why it's, it's really handy for this particular application if I want to make something I know it's going to be the right size before I even start so I'm going to use like a, a shape tool here and if I want to make again I'm not sure what this is I'm just messing about if I want this to go into my uh, stencil game then I know straight away that that's going to be the correct size I'm not going to have to worry about it fitting properly into the grid in stencil one of the other things to bear in mind is that you might want to make a sprite that's actually bigger than 32 by 32 you might want something that's a boss which is larger than that or you might think that 32 32 is, is, is too small what I'd advise you just to keep things simple is to is to work 
in multiples of 32 to start with so if you want a bigger sprite maybe go for for 64 by 64 or make work in multiples certainly of, of 32 don't be doing 48 or 96 or, or, or something because well, actually 96 is fine but work keeping 32 because otherwise you'll find you have problems aligning your sprites properly on the grid when you put them into your levels and stencil so if I've made my basic sprite as I have here I might actually want to save it so one of several things I can do is I can save it to my gallery so if I click save here I can give it a name it's important to, to give it a name so I'm just going to call it a uh, circle uh, I can choose whether I make it public or private I just keep my private really um, save to my gallery and then that's now saved and if I go to my gallery you can see there these are all the sprites that I've done and that's the one that I've made I've just made and I can view it clone it or delete it if I want to so go back into view uh, there it is and if I want to change any of it I can just edit sprites now if you want to get them from Piscal into stencil which you will eventually you're gonna have to save this as an image so you've got an export option there so you can export it now as an image a sprite sheet or as an animated GIF so if I click Save there's the resolution so you can see it's set as 32 by 32 uh, you can choose to have it as a PNG or a GIF for the sake of, of what we're doing really matter um, I'm going to save it this one just as a PNG uh, 32 by 32 I've already set the title it's a good just something to point out is make sure you save it first because then it will save it with the title that you used to save it with otherwise it just saves it as new sprite so I click download and what you might see now is that that's just appearing at the bottom in my uh, tray at the bottom as the name I'd saved it as so I've successfully downloaded that and you can make as many sprites as you want to there's no limitations on, on, on the software um, it's very very easy to use so I would just spend some time experimenting within this and, uh, and see how you get on but but the website you want is Piskel P-I-S-K-E-L and that will be your first step in making graphics you need for your stencil game